Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, so this has probably been my most requested video since I've moved to university. And as you already know by the title, today's video is going to be my university room tour. Now you guys can finally see how I've decorated my room, what my room kind of looks like and stuff. To be honest, how my room is decorated here is very similar to how my room is at home. I kind of wanted to keep it with the same kind of vibe. I know some people like to switch it up when they come to uni, but I honestly took like everything from home and just bought a few new bits also before we get started if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you don't already follow me on my instagram here is my instagram make sure you guys go follow me on there because i'm always posting always active on there so yeah anyway let's just get on with the room tour okay guys so as you walk into my room this is basically what you see so obviously i'm going to go through all the bits of my room obviously there's not loads to say about it so this is just a quick overview of my room so yeah i will go into detail now so let's just start off with obviously this is my door so let's just start with what is here so as soon as you come in you have these kind of little hooks and i was gonna buy these hooks just to put over a door or something but i wasn't sure if i was gonna have some but we do so yeah these obviously come with the room and then just here i hang all of my bags i didn't want to hang coats here because i thought they'd just get in the way so i just have my kind of most used bags so like obviously i use this one all the time now which is from zara my princess polly bag a few of my like going out bags and stuff like that so yeah i just put bags there and i don't know why there's a random hanger on the back but yeah just opposite that is basically my wardrobe at first i thought these rail things were just so weird and i kind of would still prefer one across there but i guess it kind of makes your clothes look pretty and you can put more sort of standout clothing on the top one thing about this room is there is so much storage space at the top i have this big open space and normally that is full of parcels and stuff that i get sent and everything that goes all up there so it's out the way um but i have just gone through all of like my gifting and stuff and sorted it all out so i've just put a selfridges bag up there i think there's a pair of shoes up there as well it's, it's kind of far to reach so i don't really put clothes and stuff up there because it is quite high and then here so i have quite a lot of clothes at which i like to just put in hangers so have this new shirt from zara and also new things that i want to wear because sometimes i forget i have stuff but yeah i've got this new shirt from zara i've got like blazers and stuff hoodies bomber jackets more jackets and coats and stuff so and i like to change this up every now and then and then put new clothes and stuff that i get sent on there as well and then this is where i keep all of my coats because it's just out of the way and then on the floor i just have my shoes i actually don't own a lot of pair of shoes these ones from tommy hilfiger i actually am selling over on my depop if you guys are interested because i've literally i've worn them once and i just don't really wear them so i just kind of keep all of my shoes my gym shoes and then just here i have these kind of like little divider things which are from ikea and in one i just keep all of my white socks and then in the other is like fluffy socks and black socks um it's just easier because i want to put on my shoes my socks are right there so yeah that's what i keep there and then here is my actual wardrobe so it's just one single door which opens and this basically has all of my clothes in and yes it does look kind of messy to me this is very organized um because this does get very very messy i've had like a massive clear out so loads of my things are actually on depop which i will link down below if you guys are interested but yeah in here are all of my clothes so i've got hoodies and that sort of thing at the top underwear separated and then here i just have sort of dresses again i've had a massive clear out of dresses i've actually got two whole bin bags under my bed stuffed in a suitcase of stuff that i'm like selling on depop and just don't want anymore so yeah this used to be so full um i have all of my tops here which are again organized um all of my bottoms here i have so many pairs of jeans like this is just overflowing so much like this has literally been wedged in um and then i have like leather leggings shorts skirts more jeans and trousers and then here i have all of my joggers, more kind of t-shirts, and then at the back, I think there's more hoodies. Um, and then on this bottom one here, I just have my spare change of bed covers, a whole case of water, like mini water bottles, which I got when I actually moved in. I just don't really use them because I have another water bottle. And then here I have heels, belts, and that kind of stuff, which I just, again, keep in there. So yeah, this is where I keep all of my clothes okay so here there's lots of this kind of thing where there's like cubby holes and like stuff like that which i really like because it means it's really good for like decoration and stuff so i don't really like to put too much stuff here i just kind of put decorative 
bits and not really got anything in that bottom one but to be honest usually i just shove clothes when i can't be bothered to fold them up i just shove clothes and stuff in that bottom one but yeah at the top i just have like a little k a tiffany bot these peels from boohoo that i got sent and i think they're just so pretty so i just put them on display just like little bags and stuff and i have another chanel bag some sunglasses my airpods and my mcqueens to be honest all of this stuff i got from home i literally did not buy any new decoration bits i mean i will show you the few bits i bought but everything else is literally from home because i wanted my room here to feel exactly the same and then here is one of my favorite parts of my room this is my huge mirror i'm so so glad that i've got such a big mirror it's a full length mirror which i love and it's absolutely massive so yeah and when i'm in bed sometimes i just look at myself in the mirror you know that yeah, this is my mirror absolutely love it and obviously this came with the room okay and then over on this i will go to my bathroom last actually that's the door to my bathroom but here is my bed area which is obviously my favorite part of my room so if you guys remember at home i used to have these vogue postcards behind my bed like i said i wanted to go for the exact same vibe literally my bed covers are from home and all of these bits are from home i just wanted it to feel really homely and i think that definitely helps so yeah i've got these vogue postcards which i will link in the description box down below it comes in a box of 100 but obviously i've just picked out the nicest ones and then i've literally just draped over some heart fairy lights which are from ikea but like years and years ago but i've literally attached this with some white tack i mean i'm a diy queen yeah they actually haven't fallen down and i've had them up for months so yeah i have that and then it comes over across here so this is my like bed frame my headboard i guess which obviously again came with the room here i just again have some decorative pieces my coco chanel book a little fake plant um, a photo frame which is from Primark a picture of me and my cousins in. Right here I just have this plant which is actually real and apparently it helps with oxygen and like helps you to sleep and stuff. I don't know my mum bought this plant for me and I always forget to water it but luckily it doesn't actually need watering too often and then i've got this little plant pot which is from home sense it's really nice to have greenery in your room like this is one of my favorite bits in my room and then i've just got a little diffuser because obviously you're not allowed candles but i still want my room to smell nice so this one's actually just a primark one they actually are really really good and then coming down here we have this kind of like hole i don't really know what the purpose of this hole really is i guess if you wanted to put a lamp in here but here it just has some, some sockets so obviously i've got my phone charger and my extension lead which i'll show you and then i've got my silk pillowcase which i've been using to sleep on because it's meant to be good for your hair and skin um and then i've got my card holder and then here it's actually really good because you can control you can control the light from your bed which i think is so good because it just means when you go to sleep you don't have to get up when you're comfortable like literally the switches are right there which i think is so good so that's basically the bed and then down here again we have these more kind of cubby hole kind of things we just have a spare tea towel a little duster these are some like i don't even know what they are like lentil things which my mum gave me which are meant to be really good for iron and then in the bottom one i just have some sort of like um air freshener sprays oh god laundry stuff floor wipes spare sponge so it's basically just my little cleaning bit and then i'd also have my extension lead as well and some spare toilet roll actually there's a lot under my bed like under my bed is like my whole life suitcase back there and then i've got my massive suitcase which is currently full of clothes i want to sell and like stuff that i don't wear and then i've got these kind of like boxes which i got from home then and um, this is kind of like my beauty one so i have my gel nail kit um here with all the nail polishes that's basically what i've done on my nails now i've just used my gel kit um and then i have loads of like backup stuff and stuff i like to kind of like stock up on things like razors and like toothbrushes and stuff like that i also have a lot of bondi sands in here and no i do not fake tan but they actually really kindly sent me over loads of bits so i'm probably just going to give these to my friends thinking maybe i should do a video where i try fake tan but yeah bondo sands really kindly sent me over those bits and then in here i just have like body tape tampons another spare razor another tampon i just like to have things stocked up this used to be full of stuff but now it's not obviously because i've used things in this other one i just have some more bits so i've got another necklace just some makeup bags random stuff like that one of my favorite parts of my room is actually my food drawer 
here so this is just a massive box which normally this is full of snacks food and things because i don't really like to keep all of my food in the kitchen and yeah normally this is full but obviously clearly i need to go for a food shop um then i also have some folders and stuff which i brought from home because i wasn't sure if i was going to need them and i actually haven't even used them this is just my favorite i really like it because you can just slide it out from your bed and like i said i don't keep all of my food in the kitchen so obviously this is my bed so the bedding is from laura ashley all of these pillows at the front are from primark that is pretty much it for my bed and then you come across here and i've got my heater so i always just hang up my uni bag here just so it's like ready to go and i can just grab it and then i've also got my laundry bag which is also from primark then when you come across here is my massive window and lo and behold guys we actually have blue skies out in manchester today it's actually a revolution yeah i love this massive window it just lets in a lot of light especially when it's like blue skies like this it's just really nice and we do also have blinds as well which go all the way down and then you come to the side and here is my desk area which i spend a lot of time actually so again we have so much space and so much storage so at the top i just have my mcqueen box which my trainers came in so this side is kind of like my study area a bit because obviously you need books and notebooks and stuff so i've just got this little pot from home sets which has pens in i've got my little speaker which i just keep here in this next one i don't really keep much i keep my room key i've got my journal or my diary whatever which i don't really write in as much now my beats as well which i use these so much more than my airpods i've kind of abandoned my airpods since i got these because i just these are just so much easier to use, especially when going to uni. And then I just have this little photo frame again with a picture of me and my cousin and my sister. And then me and my friends and a little Polaroid. Like, honestly, God knows why I've got a collection of change. Let me have this kind of, what is this called? A pin board, something like that, which... I mean, thank God it's not a disgusting colour. Like, I can actually just bear this. It's kind of like a grey, which is so good, thank God. But my desk area is a little bit more cluttered. But because the rest of my room is so bare and simple, I kind of just wanted to have, like, pictures and stuff up. So I decided to print off these pictures, actually. These are all from free prints, where you just get, like, 40 prints a free a month, and you just pay for delivery. I just think this is really important to have in your uni room, so you can see, like, all your friends and family and whatnot. It's like a photo of me picture i really love that one but yeah i just absolutely love like all of these pictures it has all of my favorite people in there so yeah that's just like a new thing that i've sort of added because i wanted to have pictures up um and then here this is what i mean the clutter kind of starts so i have my water bottle <gasps> I use this every single day. I don't even use my cups and glasses anymore because I literally just drink out of this. Um, okay, so this desk lamp is actually from HomeSense. I only recently got a bulb in this thing after literally living here for three months. So yeah, it's just gray, simple, whatnot. But what I didn't realize is that I had this light here, which works just as well. So I don't really use this all the time. And then here I have this little tray, which oh, also has the tag on it. But I just keep my jewelry bits on here, my glasses, adapter, tweezers, everything think like that um my most everyday jewelry is on there but then we've got these plugs there's so many plugs in this room like suppose you don't even need an adapter because you have so many plugs um but then i just keep some necklaces just on the top there so they don't get tangled and then i've just got like some creams everyday cream day cream and night cream my makeup brushes um lip products and like these little razors which i use for my face and then here i have my mirror which is very dirty needs a clean i have this little pot which is full of elastic bands some eyelashes and then here is where the rest of my jewelry is i have a lot of jewelry like literally the most random thing as you can tell i do love me some primark jewelry but honestly this is just so unnecessary you do not need all of this stuff so my desk chair of course i'm gonna take a seat on this because i'm actually exhausted finally the last few things to show you are the things we come the other way actually are the things in this drawer so in the first drawer i keep all of my makeup which i really should have tidied this before i film this video but this just gives you like a real representation of how messy it gets so yeah um and then in the second one i keep all of my ut again products so like hair brushes cotton pads creams tablets deodorant nail polishes pads literally the most random thing like lashes literally everything hair oil lotion and then in the last one that's actually rubbish 
and then in this last drawer i keep kind of like electronics more of like the free prints which i didn't use and then i've got all of these guns from halloween because we went as like lara croft so that all just goes in that bottom drawer there and then you come into my bathroom which i actually love this bathroom i just love how everything's white and bright on my door i've just got my dressing gown and my towel and then you walk in and yeah there's this huge mirror again with these lights honestly there is the best lighting in this bathroom but this mirror is literally huge i love it so much and it just really kind of opens up the bathroom because it is like it is quite small do you know what i mean like it's not big at all here i've just got some body sprays from like bath and body works victoria's secret i've got all of my flannels muslin cloths and then like an exfoliated glove now i've got my like face wash hot cloth cleanser soap toothbrush perfume all of that stuff in that little corner and then of course i've got my sink and then my shower is also here as well. Again, quite a big shower as well. So that is basically my bathroom. There's really not loads to say about it. But yeah, that is pretty much my entire room. So guys, I'm back again. Really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my room, how I've decorated it. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspo if you guys are moving to uni or even just for your rooms at home. Please leave me any more video suggestions that you have down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.